Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how I did this look and I did it using the Blend Bunny Sugar and Grunge palette. This has quickly become one of my go-to's because it's moody but it also has this beautiful row of pastels so I can have like a mixture of like a dark smoky eye but also have a little pop of bright color. Now um, this look is kind of inspired by Heather Austin's uh, look. I will leave her video up here in the cards but she did a look using um, complicated runaway butterfly and grungy and then I think she used like one of the purples or one of the reds on my lid on my top lid I did use the same colors complicated runaway grungy and butterfly but on the bottom I went in with candy and just a little bit of black eyeliner uh I think I use a little bit of combat boots too I'll show you guys the swatches in just a second and these are the swatches. I also used Ginger from the ABH um, Jackie Ina palette as a transition color because these are very um, cool toned shadows and I have warm undertones right now because I'm tanned, it's summer, and I didn't like the contrast. It just, sometimes cool tones will um, blend out gray on my skin so I always try to go in with some sort of warm transition color just to neutral them out. Oh and then for my lips I used a NYX um a NYX shout out loud or something uh lipstick in the shade exemplary or something I don't know I'll leave it <laughs> down below in the description box like what I have on my face um and I mixed in a little bit of eyeshadow to create this very dynamic lip but um if you are curious on how I did this makeup then go ahead and keep on watching for my outermost transition shade I'm using the shade ginger how many times can I say shade in one sentence <laughs> I'm using the shade ginger from the Jackie Ina ABH collaboration palette when I was Going back and looking at the, all the palettes that I used for this look, I fell in love with that palette again. Like, I think it came out maybe six years ago. I still think it's one of the best palettes that ABH has ever come up with. It's brown girl friendly. The pigments are rich enough to show up even on dark skin men and women, which let's just be real, sometimes ABH misses the mark. But Miss Jackie did her thing with that palette, so I'm going to be using that again. And then of course all the pops of colors are really focused um, toward brown eyes, so I'll be using that again. Um, come up with some looks. Break out the baddie. Break out that baddie. Anyway, um, let me refocus. Where am I at? Oh, okay, so I applied complicated on the outer and inner corner of my eye. I also ran it along my lower lash line. Then I just applied runaway to deepen up my outer corner. And now I'm going in with complicated again to blend out the edges of runaway because this is a grungy look. However, I care about blending, girl. Blending, blending, blending. No harsh lines here. Then I'm going to go in with the shade butterfly using my finger at first, and then I'm going to switch over to a brush. These shimmers do pick up well on a brush, especially a wet brush, but to me, the oils from your fingers will always be the goat. I mean, you can't really have a lot of precision with your fingers, which is why I'm using a brush to shape the um, outermost you know, part of my crease, because I want my um, crease to kind of be cut but as far as like on my lid itself I use my finger because I, I think you get the most pop um, using your finger and then in the middle of my eye I went in the shade went in with the shade went in with the shade grungy first with my finger and then applying it with a brush once again to make sure that that uh, crease is cut and then for my liner, I'm using the Glam Goth Beauty Batris Liner in the shade Midnight. And I'm going to be using this to create my big wing. And 
And then to finish up my top lid, I'm going back in with the shade Ginger. I like Ginger because it's not too warm, but it's also not neutral. So it's perfect when you have warm undertones but are trying to wear um, cool toned shadows. It kind of helps prevent your eyeshadow from looking too gray, making you look too dead. <laughs> I mean, some people like that corpse look, but I wasn't going for that in this video. And then for my tight line, I'm using the shade Black Bean in the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And then um, starting on my lower lash line, I am setting the shade Black Bean. I'm, sitting, I'm setting that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil with the shade Combat Boots from the palette. And then I'm blending that out using the shade Complicated. Now I should have left it like this, honestly, like when I'm looking back, I should have left it like this, but later on in the look, I was like, I want some color. I want some color. But if I had to do it all over again, I would have just left my bottom lash line smoked out with complicated and combat boots. But as you can see, after I did my foundation and stuff, I went in with the shade baggy jeans and the shade candy. So I first applied baggy jeans and then I'm going in with a fluffy brush to apply the shade candy and that's what that pastel blue is underneath my eye. All right, so here is the final look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have not been drinking my water, so my skin is like a lot drier than it usually is. Um, so I had to go in with some oils mixed with my creams because they were just not laying right. Um, but I think overall, I got everything looking okay. Now I know this doesn't look anything like Heather's um, Heather's makeup look. So you're probably like, bitch, why did you say this was inspired by recreation of? Um, because I used the same colors that she did on my top lid. So I gotta give her credit, you know? But uh, yeah, so here we are. And I hope you guys like this look. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. Share this video because, you know, sharing is caring. And since you're here, you might as well watch some more videos. So there they are popping up right there and right there, right there and right there, right there and right there. Support your girl, okay? And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!